Hey, Chris Matthew here. I want to demo a quick proof of concept of Skynet. Uh, Skynet is a network and API for the Internet of Things. Um, and what I did today was I built out a quick um, uh, REST endpoint around devices. So you can register a device with Skynet, you can unregister a device with Skynet, you can list all the devices on the Skynet network, um, and you can update uh, particular information about a device or find out, you know, uh, who am I basically? Which device am I? So on the bottom right side window is just a terminal um, emulator and we'll be doing curl commands against the uh, uh, Skynet API which is running on this left side. So it's a Node.js app listening on localhost port 3000. So let me show you uh, what this looks like. So if we do a curl uh, HTTP slash slash localhost port 3000 and ask for a list of devices there. So it returned all the devices that Skynet is aware of and as you see here it says it's aware of one called uh, Hackboard. It's uh, not online so online equals false and here's the UUID, so the unique ID of that device on the Skynet network. Um, so if we wanted to modify that um, that device, say we're going to change the name to Arduino and I'll show you why here in a minute. Uh, if we do a, a curl, and we're going to do uh, a put verb, put operation against it instead of a get, and we'll use the data, we'll say name equals Arduino, and then we'll put the whole thing, uh, localhost, this is the resource, port 3000 slash devices, and we'll give it its ID. Now that should change the name yeah, it did. So that changed. So device has been updated. Uh, there's the device UUID, and the new name is uh, Arduino. Um, and we can tell that. I mean, if we wanted to, like, like just query them back, we could do a curl um, HTTP colon slash slash uh, local host for 3000 slash devices and name the device. which is this UUID here. It will come back and tell us everything it knows about that device there. So it's listening to the main channel. There's a description about it, uh, etc. And you also see the device name is now Arduino. Well, this is all pretty cool. Um, but what I, I took it a little one step further here. You know how I roll. Um, and I wrote a quick little... Um, Johnny 5 application, an Arduino application using the, the Johnny 5 uh, Node.js uh, library. So basically it goes live and when you push the button down on the circuit board it turns the LED light on and it calls the Skynet API and says now it's online. Online equals true. So when the red light's blinking or when the red light's solid uh, its, it's uh, presence is uh, true when you let off of the button, when the button's up, uh, the presence goes to false. Uh, so it's offline, basically. So let me show you how that works. So that's in this top window. So if we look in the top window, uh, it's going to be issuing live calls from this, this contraption that I've built that's basically an Arduino with a breadboard. And on the breadboard, I have a, a button there. And the button uh, lights up. The, the LED. So let me show you how this works. So when I press the button, you should see the top right um, uh, terminal uh, say that it's it's going online with Skynet, and you should see the left side of uh, Skynet actually register that it's online. So here, I push it in, and it says uh, online with Skynet. When I let it go, offline with Skynet. Online, offline, online, offline, online, offline. Online, offline. So this is just the start of Skynet. We've got an API and uh, we've got uh, hardware um, that's registering on a button control and uh, calling the REST API to uh, update its status. Stay tuned.